Okay, so yesterday we did a recording showing ICA over the WAN with 3% packet loss and how it behaved with our technology on and off. And today, as promised, we are doing for VMware PC over IP. So here we have uh, an XP VM hosted in Ottawa, Canada. From here, San Francisco to Canada, we are seeing around 110 millisecond latency. And we have a 3% packet loss right now on. And let's see how PC over IP behaves in that case. So here we are on the VM. You can see the artifacts like right there on the start button. And very slow. So definitely much, much worse than ICA when there is loss. ICA is far from perfect, but it's much better than PC over IP in this particular case with the, the loss that we can see on the link. Just moving the window around like we did with ICA yesterday, you see it's extremely, extremely painful, like big, big lag. And if we just try to type something here, delay, the leg is right there. I guess you guys can hear. Yeah, very, very slow, very laggy. And again, just moving the window, it's painful. So let's close this. No, don't want to save. Yeah, this screen redraw is pretty bad. You can see the Firefox icon. Very, very bad. It's almost like, you know, trying to see a JPEG picture back in the 90s over a modem. That you would see the picture coming and getting better over time. Same idea here with PC over IP. So now let's take a look at the same YouTube video. Lots of artifacts on the screen right now. And let's go there, YouTube. I'm not saying your users, all of them will be watching YouTube, but there is a chance they will have to watch videos on their hosted desktop for sure. So right now it's pretty bad. Uh, let me see if I have any audio here. Oh, the video is very, very bad. I don't know why we have no audio. Let me check if I can find where the mouse is with all this going on. Oh, we have audio, yes. But it, yeah, as you can see, the audio came like uh, two minutes later. And it's gone. So basically, I think PC over IP has some safety feature that disables audio when bandwidth is really bad. Oh, that's just a joke. I don't think it's true. But it performs terrible. As you can see, it's really, really terrible. So let's try closing Firefox if I can find the mouse pointer that simply disappeared. Yeah, I click it. Before you ask, yes, I'm trying to close the window. But there is so much going on the screen, like for PC over IP, that I, I can't even see the mouse. Okay, let's see now. Where are you? Oh, here it is. Now it showed up at the right upper corner. Okay, gone. Oh, TP auto connect failed. So I guess that's the thing print something on PC over IP. Yeah, as you can see, it's not that stable. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on our 
network protection, the packet loss protection, the IPQ stuff. So let's take a look how it behaves. As soon as we turn it on, we need to wait, uh, you know, 10, 15 seconds so both ends can talk to each other and see what is going on and adapt accordingly. So let's see. Okay, so we are good now. It's on. So let's take a look how it behaves. Same session, same VMware. Well, right there, like on the start menu, you see the performance. Much, much better, much more responsive. So now let's launch Notepad. You see no artifacts. They are gone. And I can move the window like much, much better. It's still, is it perfect? No, it's not, but it's much better. Like to the point I would say this is usable over the WAN before it was completely unusable. And the typing, very good. Minimal to no lag, I would say. Yeah, no lag whatsoever, like very, very good. So let's close. And let's go to the same video on Firefox. YouTube, let's take a look and see the audio, if it gets better. Yeah, right there, the audio came back right with the video, it's in sync. Picture is much, much better. Let's take a look at the clock that is going to appear on the screen. And as you can see, I can move the mouse around and the cursor is still there. It, it didn't disappear this time. The video is very, very smooth. And again, this is 3% loss, but with our technology on. So we basically turn a PC over IP that is virtually unusable over the WAN, especially when there is a little bit of loss. We were able to turn into something that you can actually work on or live with, like much, much better experience. Just perfect. Now let's do a quick check on how it renders our website. So Brian's website, let's take a look. Very, very decent. Let's do a quick scrolling down like see virtually no lag. Like running a local web browser for sure. Yeah, that's much, much better. Well, I guess that's all. Uh, if you guys want to send me an email or a tweet, whatever, you can reach me on Twitter at crod, C R O D, four letters, and by email at cr at ipicnetworks.com. Thanks for watching.